Alright y'all, welcome back to another reaction on this channel. You guys are tuned in with the one and only Nihilus, man. Look, today we're going to be reacting to a very interesting video, okay? I found on my Instagram, I forgot what Instagram source it was. I think it was either The Shade Room or Meg the Stallion herself. But I came across the IGTV version of this video. Basically, Meg Thee Stallion went on live and was basically just explaining, or I'm assuming, because that's what the caption of the video said, explaining how she got shot or why she got shot or something like that. This is just what I'm looking at, man. So, I already knew I had to come check this video out. Thank God Meg is okay. Seems like she's good based on what she's been posting, talking about she's ready to get back into the regular groove of shit, whatever the case is. Thank God she's okay. But honestly speaking... I want to know who the hell did it, okay? Everybody's pointing fingers at, uh, what's his name, Tory Lanez. Uh, I don't know. I just want to know the truth. I just want to know what was going on. And I feel like this video right here will be the perfect way to find out, man. So we're going we're gonna to check this out. So if you are new to the channel, man, make sure you do leave a like down below and subscribe as well. But without further ado, man, we're about to hop right into it, man. Let's get it. Can't do that copyright. You know that's a fact. You know, that's a fact. Damn, her shit went from 9,000 to 68,000 to 76,000. Damn, holy shit. Look at her smiling. She's like, look at my numbers go up. Hot girl, Shane. <laughs> Hot girl, Shane. Hello. What's poppin', queen? What's poppin', queen? How you been? How you living? Talk to me now. We, we here for you now. We here for you. Get on here. Talk about it. And show that I'm happy. She's good. See what I'm saying? She's back in her energy. Happy and healthy. That's all that really matters. You know, a lot of things have been I'm trying to keep it I'm trying to keep it low because they have music in the background. I don't want to get that copyright. You know how I am, man. Things that have been making me not smile, but she got shot on her foot. Of course that's not going to make you smile, sweetie. Okay. So, I see a lot of people painting fake-ass <laughs> narratives and making up stories and all this other whack-ass shit. Let's talk about it. But I also see a lot of people that have been, like, being very supportive. Let's talk about it. Prayers, and I just really appreciate that. I saw the hotties doing a lot of things, like writing letters on the on Tumblr and DMing me all the time. And I just want to say thank y'all so much because y'all really been the ones that been helping me get through this. Uh, I was shot. Damn, that's crazy to say. My feet. Damn. Did y'all know that? In both her feet. I thought I was just in one of her, like, one foot. Damn. I was, I was shot in both of my feet. And she I had to really, surgery. She really out she in the streets. She don't belong to the streets. She's just in the streets, man. Uh, and it was super scary. That's a traumatic experience, though, for real, for real. For real, for real, though. Imagine getting shot. What would y'all do if you got shot? I wouldn't even know what to do. I don't even... Oh, damn. Don't cry, sweetheart. Don't cry, sweetheart. Damn, the title did say... The title of this video is Meg Thee Stallion Goes On Live. Gets emotional. But yeah. I had to get surgery. It was super scary. It was like... Just the worst experience of my life. <laughs> as long as you're nothing, good, though. There's nothing to joke about. Nothing to joke about. It was nothing for y'all to start going and making up fake stories about. <laughs> I didn't put my hands on nobody. I didn't deserve to get shot and do shit. Like... And thank God that the bullets didn't touch bones. They didn't break tendons. Like, I know I know my mama, my daddy, my granny had to be looking out for me with that one. Because where the bullets hit at, it just, 
and missed everything. But they, the motherfuckers was in there. That's a blessing right there. Low key, it's not a blessing that she got shot. It's a blessing that nothing critical happened. Of course, that's a blessing. And it's not that I'm, I was protecting anybody. I just wasn't ready to speak. Everybody thought that she was trying to protect Tory Lanez because she wasn't saying anything. And that's a lot of y'all motherfucking problem. <laughs> y'all take y'all whole life to Instagram and Twitter and make it a fucking diary. And that's not, that's not me. I want to know what happened though, Meg. Talk to us about what happened, man. So, <laughs> fuck y'all and them fake ass blogs and y'all fake ass sources and my fake ass friends. <laughs> Damn, she just went off. But, on a positive note, just taking some time to myself have definitely, it has definitely made me realize how to move forward. And yeah. you know, how to protect my energy. I'm so nice. Imagine. Ooh, Im that's, a, that's a very important thing she said, protecting your energy. That shit is very important. Being, imagine being 25. And you don't, you don't have both of your parents. My mama was my best friend. She, you know, I'm still really not over that. Wait, so she doesn't, she doesn't have her parents? That shit is crazy, bro. That's all you gotta be thankful, man. I wouldn't know what to do if I didn't have my parents. I'm not gonna lie. My parents are my everything. She doesn't have her parents. It's fucked up. That's really messed up, bro. So you like... Try to feel like your space with a bunch of people that you think is making you happy. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Shit. It's alright to be emotional, man. Especially something like that. Out here getting shot. No parents. I don't know, man. A lot of people wouldn't even know what to do in a situation like that. I just felt like I was trying to... I was moving really fast. I was moving too fast. I wasn't taking a, enough time for myself. I thought I was ready to be around a bunch of motherfuckers. I thought I was ready to be, you know, I thought I was ready to give good energy to other people, and other people wasn't ready to give good energy to me. Gotta protect the energy, sis. Not everybody deserves it, sis. I have to sit my ass down and pray on it. And I do feel a lot better. And thank God for the the people I have around me that are actually here for me and are actually my friends don't want shit from me would never turn on me for no amount of money no amount of clout that wouldn't make up stories about me to save face that wouldn't that wouldn't go against the grain just thank God for them for them and thank just God thank for God for them all the hotties and the supporters that I see have had my back through these times. And um, I ain't never seen so many grown ass motherfucking men chime in on some shit that wasn't their motherfucking business in the first motherfucking class. Damn, like, my life. Just she just wake went up off. And be like, oh, I'm gonna say this today because this is gonna give me some like, this is gonna be funny. Like, what if your motherfucking sister got shot? What if your motherfucking girlfriend got shot? What if your motherfucking best friend got shot? Would you be cracking jokes then? Then you want the whole world to stop and feel sorry for you. I don't expect none of you motherfuckers to feel sorry for me, but mm. it's just a respect thing. Like, mm. Shut the fuck up and shit don't have nothing to do with you. Mm. Stop fucking talking. <laughs> That's true that shit, shit though. Some shit don't need to be talked about. Out of your mind ass bitches. Are y'all? Oh, it's not even are y'all fucking dumb. It's yes, we know you're fucking dumb. It's just how many times are you gonna show when you fucking dumb? Mm. 
She ain't calling out, calling people out now. She ain't playing no more. Y'all done push the buttons a little bit too much, man. But are we gonna talk about it? Are we gonna talk about what happened, man? We wanna know what happened. We wanna, we wanna know the tea. We wanna know what's going on. thing first and foremost is it's great that she's okay number two she didn't really say too much about what went on um obviously she's she's most likely not going to respectfully you got what i'm saying that is personal information that only her and the people who are involved in the situation know about it is what it is man you know that we were there we were coming to watch this video to see what the truth really was but looks like we're not gonna find it until just yet but that is going to be the end of this video, man. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you do leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And stay tuned to Nitrous TV for more like content, man. I'm going to catch you on the next one, bro. Peace.